Jamie TV we're going to have a close look at the brand new X5 Duet Looper pedal. I'm going to give you a rundown of all its features and explain exactly how it works. Just as we've come to expect from X5, the Duet Looper is a mini pedal. It's the same size as all the other little pedals that they make. It's too small to be powered by a 9 volt battery and you will have to hook it up with the typical 9 volt power supply that we're used to using with this kind of pedal. Now if we take a look at the controls on the pedal maybe I can help to explain um, how it is that such a small pedal boasts so many features. First chorus mode allows us to record two separate loops and toggle in between them. Each of these loops can be up to five minutes in length. One tap of the foot switch and you'll see that the light on the left, the verse light, flashes a quick red. This means that the verse bank is armed and ready to record. One more quick press on the foot switch and I'm recording. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so I've paused the playback for just a moment, just so I can explain the next bit. Um, I paused it, by the way, with uh, a quick double tap to the uh, to the pedal, and uh, it goes into ready to play mode or pause mode, whatever you want to call it. Um, if you look at the pedal, you'll see there are two uh, flashing blue lights. That means that in both banks there is some loop ready to play back. Um, and during playback mode, while I'm sort of using it as a backing track to just play a a little bit of an improvised lead over um, all I have to do to switch between the patches is just put my foot on the pedal and uh, just give it a long press just for about a second or so release it and at the end of that patch it will um, it will move on to the next one so let's give it a go solo on and on forever but um, I hope that gives you a, a, a reasonable understanding of how the verse chorus mode works um, again when when you're done um, noodling over the the loops that you've pre-recorded um, a quick double tap stops the pedal um, and you get the um, the two flashing blue lights let's um, let's take a look now at how the the other mode works the undo redo mode the undo redo mode offers us just one loop of up to five minutes in length again but with the facility to uh, lay down an overdub and then re-record that overdub with one long press of the pedal it's kind of easier to demonstrate than to explain um, so let's get on with that just as before one swift tap to the pedal and the looper is armed with the fast flashing red light and just one more tap and we're in record. <laughs>
Okay, so I've faded that out the end there. There's no need for you to listen to me uh, soloing really badly uh, forever and a day um, just to show how the pedal works. I hope that's explained to you quite reasonably clearly um, how the operation of the pedal works. Um, just to add on a personal note, uh, I've experimented with a number of loopers over the years and they seem to fall into two categories really. There's the very expensive, very involved ones, uh, some of which are brilliant if you really want to get seriously heavily into looping. However, when you look at the um, sort of lower priced, smaller units, I've always found them to be a little complicated to use and a bit a bit limiting and still quite expensive for what they are. Um, so in the category of smaller looper pedals, this is the best one I've used and hats off to X5 for cramming so many um, very usable, very user friendly features into such a tiny box. So I um, hope you've enjoyed the video and um, see you again soon. Take care, bye bye.